writing the Mass Arrow. The Mass Arrow is a stable shell, but it becomes unstable if you let go of the oars or let an oar go past your torso. Especially with large rowers, the shell may turn all the way over as you fall out. To write the shell. Move to the side of the shell, forward of the rigger, facing the seat deck. Push down on the rigger to turn the boat upright. You can also push with your foot if necessary. If it's windy or rough, move the shell so it points directly into the wind or waves. Position the oar next to you perpendicular to the shell. Holding the handle of that oar, kick your legs to bring your body partway onto the shell. Be careful not to pull the boat toward you as you swim up onto the shell. From that position, you can reach the other oar and turn it perpendicular to the shell so that you can hold both oar handles. Kick your legs again to bring your body the rest of the way onto the shell. Either straddle the shell or bring your legs into the shell while holding onto the oars for stability and to get the seat underneath you. Keep holding onto the oars while putting your feet back into the foot stretchers. Riding the Mass 24 or flyweight. These shells are less stable than an arrow, but just like the arrow, will generally not flip unless you let go of the oars or turn an oar parallel to the shell. These shells are more likely than the arrow to turn all the way over if you fall out, but are easy to write. As with the arrow, you position yourself alongside the shell forward of the wing rigger and push down on the rigger to turn the boat upright. Position the oar near you so that you can use it to stabilize the shell while you kick yourself up and across the shell and get the second oar turned so you can hold both oars while you get the rest of the way onto the shell. Using a self baler. All OWRC shells have self balers that can empty the footwell of water in 10 good strokes or less. To empty the footwell, pull up and back on the wire closure, then push down on the black plastic top of the baler until it's flush with the bottom of the footwell. Start rowing. You'll hear the suctioning sound of water emptying. When the water's out, pull back and down on the wire to close the baler. If you can't write the shell, if rough water or strong winds make it hard to write the shell, you can get on top of it and paddle it to calmer water or towards a nearby shore. If you're too far from calm water or the shore, get up onto the shell so you're out of the water and more visible. If there are any other boats nearby that could assist you, use the whistle attached to the life vest to attract their attention. You might also want to unclip the life vest from the shell and put it on for safety. Rules for safety if you flip. Stay with the boat. If you can't right the boat, always get out of the water by climbing onto the overturned boat. This will keep you warmer by getting you out of the water and makes you more visible so others can see you. Inflatable life vest operation. Put it on before you inflate it. Unattach the life vest from the shell. Push the inflate tab through the slot into the life vest pouch. Open the pouch and pull out the life vest. Pull it over your head and use the straps that attached it to the shell to clip it around your waist. You can inflate it automatically by pulling the tab which inflates it with a CO2 cartridge or you can inflate it manually using the inflate tube. If you need to deflate it, push in the valve at the end of the manual inflate tube and compress the vest to push the air out. Please review this video as often as necessary, and if you have any questions about re-entry or safety, talk to any of the Open Water Rowing Center staff.